Hello and welcome. I'm Andreas Fertig. I work as a trainer and consultant primarily for C++. And I'm also the creator of C++ Insights. And this is also the tool I like to talk about in this series. In this episode, I will explain what C++ Insights is and give you a little introduction in where you can find it and how you can easily use it. In today's episode, I like to continue talking in the area of move semantics, let's say it like that. Um, it's not actually about moving today, but about a feature that came in with move semantics and makes a lot of sense there, that are ref qualifiers. This is this thing here, so we can now have an ampersand after a member function's declaration. By that, we can qualify it to work only with L or with R values. So we can also have the double ampersand here. That means that this operator or this assignment operator can be used only with R values, while the single ampersand version donates to L values, that means that we can use this assignment operator only together with L values. That means I, I remove that here for a moment and we get back to the question later. So if I have a class base like this and I create myself a B object and I now say I create a temporary object and try to assign this B object to it. Okay, this now does not compile because the compiler tells me that there is no viable overload because the function it would use has been deleted. This is this one. Okay, if we don't, don't do this, then we can happily assign our object B to a temporary object. And one case where this often comes up as a problem is, for example, in a if statement. There we accidentally assign B to a temporary object, but most of the time we want to compare for equality or not equals. Okay, So let's go back to the simple case. Um, without a ref qualifier, I can assign it. With the double ampersand, that means I can assign it to an R value, so that would work as well. But you can get rid of this nasty, potentially in most, if not all cases, unwanted conversions or assignments by deleting the L value overload. So I can now no longer assign my object B to a temporary object of base. Okay, so this is this is the idea of the ref qualifier. In this case, you can use the R value overload to know that your object, um, your this pointer is a temporary, so you can move out the data that's requested. But this is for another topic. So today we focus on this L value case and disabling the accidental assignment to a temporary object, like we see in line number 13, right? So now let's go back. Uh, I removed these two lines, we've seen that it will not work. Okay, so let's let's check one more time. Okay, it doesn't compile. So I remove these two. And instead we work with derived. Let me introduce you to derived. Derived, of course, derived is from base and it doesn't do anything more than that. Okay, so in line number six, I have my class derived, which derives from base. And that's it. They are both struct, so I don't have to bother about um, public. Everything is public there. Now in line number 14, I do the same thing as I did before with space. I create myself a derived object, the D, and then in line number 15, I'm assigning this object D once again to a temporary object of derived. Okay. And the question is, and this is what's in the comment here, and what I ask you is this now allowed or better does it compile? Remember that we disabled this operation in the base class. 
Think about for a moment, what's your expectation? Should this work? Shouldn't it? What do you think happens? All right, I hope you found an answer for yourself. So here's what C++ Insights tells us. It compiles. It's always hard to say if this is what you were going for, because hey, compiling code means you can continue working, but sometimes it also means that there's a bug in your code and the compiler didn't tell you, because the roots of the language in this case. You can see it in C++ Insights, what's happening on the right, in the output, in the transformation. So, line number three, this is from the base class, this is practically what we've written, just plus all the qualifiers like const expert, no exam. We don't care for that. Let's move down to line number 10. Line number 10 here, this is what a compiler implicitly generates for us in our class derived. And this is a defaulted assignment operator, as you can see it, but without any LRR value qualifier. So no ref qualifiers at this point. And this is because the standard requires the compiler to generate the defaulted special member operations without ref qualifiers. So that means that despite the fact that we disabled it in base, once we derive from it, our derived class still is assignable to a temporary object. To get rid of that, we have to repeat the steps we did in derived, so there is no benefit in, in deriving here. It's um, something that we have to repeat when we derive, because the standard does require a different defaulting. So now if we look at this, we can see that the code in fact does no longer compile, because we only have the L value overload, but not the R value overload. So only this version is defaulted and the other one is absent. So this is what we want. The summary to learn from today is you can prevent assignment to temporary objects that can be helpful. Use the ref qualifier for L values like you see it in line number three. And once you do this in a base class, Remember that you have to repeat this pattern in a derived class, otherwise derived classes are still assignable to temporary objects. I hope this helps and prevents a few accidental assignments in the future. That's it for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye.